Hey what's up guys, today's video might be a little different from my usual guides and showcases but definitely something I think you'll all find pretty interesting. So I was looking through Reddit as I often do and came across a post by the user Hoonface which was titled, Found an unreleased event in the game's files pertaining to the Wendigo Colossus. And I figured I'd share this with the rest of you who aren't Reddit savvy or just didn't come across the post yourselves. For those who want to check it out on your own time, a link will be provided in the description and top comment. With that being said, let's get into it. So the post starts off like this. Disclaimer. I'm not a pro data miner. I just like to look inside the .esm files with Fallout 76 edit when I'm curious. So this info may not be as comprehensive or accurate as something someone more knowledgeable could put together. Also, if you're not interested in spoilers for possible upcoming content, get out of here. Anyway, for anyone disappointed that the Wendigo Colossus is currently just a random nuke zone spawn, some news. I was looking through the quest and found an unreleased event called a Colossal Problem. What I could find suggests that it will be a boss fight inside the Monongo Mine, where the Wendigo Colossus is drawn towards meat piles and you use irradiated dynamite to attack it. But here's something weird and a bit more spoilery. I found another quest called Something Sentimental, where you help Maggie Williams retrieve a priceless item from Monongo Mine. Looks like you're asked to retrieve Earl Williams' old pocket watch for her, and it comes with a holotape message titled, A Father's Goodbye. I couldn't find where the audio slash subtitles for the holotape messages were though. Now aside from this quest and a colossal problem both taking place in Monaga Mine, there's one more connection. Apparently, the Wendigo Colossus was Earl Williams. I decided to visit Monaga Mine in-game to see if anything was different. First problem is, I don't remember what Monongo Mine looked like pre-Wastelanders, but I digress. You still can't go inside the mine itself, and nothing about the exterior seems remarkable. Except this. Someone wrote Monster on the horn right sign outside the mine entrance. Here's a few snips I took of what I found using Fallout 76 edit. Here is the quest name and description, the quest messages, related quest name and description, and all of the related quests and their editor IDs for anyone else who wants to look into it. After reviewing everything Hoon discovered and shared with the community, I was super excited to see that the Colossus might actually have a quest to accompany its existence instead of being a random spawn in a specific nuke zone. It was a bit lackluster and doesn't help that fighting it isn't all that difficult or special. I'm hoping this isn't just some cut content we won't be able to partake in and more along the lines as future content because I feel having some kind of lore attached and having an actual event take place regarding the Wendigo Colossus would make its presence in the game much more interesting and give more of a reason to take it on in the future. But that's all I really wanted to share with you guys. Figured see what you guys may think about all this newly data mined info. Would you like to see some kind of quest involving the Wendigo Colossus or is it fine in the game the way it is? Leave your comments below, I'd love to read your thoughts. With that being said, if you found this video to be informative or enjoyable in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe if you aren't already for more Fallout 76 content like this in the near future. And until next time guys, peace.